please make sure to subscribe and hit this bell icon and say all and save. And that's all you need so you don't miss my pretty face. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to our Planets Through Ascendant series of the week. And this week we're going to be covering Sun in the 10,000th sign of Scorpio for Aquarius Ascendant people. And what happens when Sun is in the 10th house in the sign of Scorpio, ruling the 7th house with the sign of Leo for Aquarius rising sign. And as always, if you do not know, if you have the Sun, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all the other astrological details. For that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, Astrology Conjunction Aspects and Mahadasha, the Speed of Light, including all my consultations at this link. So, Sun in the 10th house for Aquarius Ascendant people. So, Sun, as you know, represents the government father authority. Okay? Sun is energy because Sun does give us us energy. <laughs> so the, on the most basic form, it's energy. And Sun rules the seventh house. Seventh house represents uh, marriage, business, partnership, career, mass fame. And Leo, which is the sign ruled by Sun, is in the seventh house. And Leo is dynamic self-expression, children, arts, politics, creativity. And Sun is in the 10,000th Scorpio of transformation. So the one thing we see with this uh, placement is that a person's career, reputation, their image in the world transforms and changes after marriage. After marriage and also after the birth of the second child. Both ways, their image transforms into something new. Such people find great favors through royal royal uh, societies through kingship meaning government such people have a very strong determination to rule the government to rule the world pretty much on behalf of the marriage such person will have a lot of unaccounted wealth hidden wealth and especially their spouse will have a very strong authoritative position in their uh, professional sphere and spouse will be focused towards career and especially the spouse themselves will be involved in politics will be involved in social reform now obviously you'll find not just such professions but you'll also find people who are surgeon doctors mystics occultists ingenious with this position because just by one position with the 10th house on the planet it, it won't give you too good of a um, sense of who this person is but it, what it shows is that a person must be has to be needs to be in an authoritative position in order for them to um, find comfort within themselves like okay this is who i am you see that think ego that drives us the sun is driving that ego saying that okay if you're not in an authoritative position you're not worth it you're nothing and so they keep feeling that if they're not in the leadership position also shows that your spouse at some point in your life in your married life will use occult knowledge and occult powers to help you with your careers and what is the most simplest way we see this in a way where I see a wife who gets a career consultation from me regarding their husband. Can you please tell me when's their next promotion? Can you please tell me what is the right career for them? Can you please tell me should they go for their higher education? So they're using occult knowledge and power, okay? Or their spouse, this person, whoever this person is, their spouse is using occult power to help them with their career you know and the most common way especially in the in Indian culture is uh, Vedic astrology we also see that a person is more inclined towards business manufacturing 
import export more than even uh, jobs the only time this person really feels like they want to do a job is if they can serve the serve the government through civil service through army navy marine you know and then politics obviously is an avenue where a person lends themselves in a government position through which they can you know manipulate things and manipulate situation and gain everything for themselves because remember this is not a very uh, f uh the most honest the most care giving son this person is going to look out for themselves first this is the person who is actually made for politics excellent for politics due to the fact it will show corruption in their career this person will do whatever it takes to get to the position that they want to and especially the best, uh, you know, scenario for such a person is to be in politics. So this is naturally the tattva of this placement is to be tamasic, to get rid of things that are coming in front of you, get rid of things that are putting fear in you. However you do it, now that's the thing that I'm trying to explain here. Like these people do whatever it takes, especially if you have effects of malefic planets upon this conjunction. Actually with Jupiter and Sun in this, they can actually become quite violent. They'll use violence forces to get what they want. So even Jupiter's not the, you know, the most pleasant planet you may think of because it's like too hot, it's like a one mini sun, one real sun coming together in this karmic sign of Scorpio. And um, one thing you also want to see. If this sun transfers into the sign of Gemini. Okay, if it goes into the sign of Gemini in Navamsha, uh, most definitely this person will have three transformations in their career. They can go from being an IT professional to marketing to astrology or IT to politics to astrology. Like three dramatic, three different, you know, fields and transformation in their career. Um... But definitely, they have a very, very strong, solid career. They get the fame in their career. They get the recognition in their career. At the same time, this person will defeat their enemies. They'll defeat their enemies, win over their enemies. Like I said, with any means possible. Then, the other thing we also see is that this person will spend a lot of money. They would be a spend theft or they would have to dish out a lot of money on behalf of their career or especially related to the father. They will also give a lot of donations. And you will notice for such person, whenever sun transits the ninth house with this position, one will feel chronic fatigue. Like, you know, I don't want to work. They'll feel burnt out for that particular month. If you have this position, you, you must have already noticed. Think, go back in time on November of last year when the sun was transiting Libra. Okay. So I hope this has helped and given some insights into your planetary placements.